Now, as your dog digging up your yard, Laura Nativo has a way to stop it for you. And why is it so important to have a designated area for your dog to dig in? <laughs> where are you Delilah. going, Delilah? Delilah. Oh, where are you going? Come on, Delilah. Come on. So, dogs tend to, Delilah, we had while we were building this, she dug up a hole in our yard. And dogs generally love to dig. Instinctively, that's something that is just in them. So what we like to do is create a designated digging spot and that helps keep your garden safe. It protects your yard from holes and it actually it helps to protect your dog because if they're digging holes underneath the fence, that's the way a lot of dogs go missing. It, so this is a little above and beyond, deep. though. Yeah, right? you want to do this. This yeah. is wicked so cool. cool. This is something I dreamed up for a long time. I was looking at all of these cool kids sandbox designs, and I thought, oh my gosh, how much fun to turn it into a doggy sailboat! And so Delilah is in in the box just digging away, and I want to show you what we did. We actually had I had the help of Dave and Kirk oh, and some of our that, prop guys. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you what there. I used which was eight pieces of wood, some sunbrella, and then this is actually what we did. So we first, we took the two sides and we wanted to bevel the edges to make a 45 degree cut, and that makes the side of your boat. Mm -hmm. So we used a chop saw, and it's always great to have your friends help because I don't have a chop saw in my back pocket. Oh. Um, so then we attached um, the front right here. We are, let's see. Okay, so now we're getting the front and now we're moving to the back piece. And what we have on the sides is you'll see a piece of trim and that actually just pr provides some support and structure. Then I added the bench to the very back. We laid this down and then my favorite part, we got ready and we put on our mast and this just adds a mm. nice decorative touch. We added a little bit of trim which also gives it some support to keep this very stable for our dogs as well as ourselves. Now the best part, we painted, we feel so good, it's done, <laughs> almost. We now add our sail. I added uh, some two by twos, we created a sail making uh, using sunbrella fabric, which we'll get to. Here's a really fun accessory. We just made a fun little dock for all of the small dogs, the little dachshunds with the shorter legs. That gives them uh, nice access. And now we fill it with a dirt and sand combination. Now we're attaching our sail. We put sunbrella fabric over a closet rod, and then we use PVC and some rope to tie it up to some screw eyes. And all of the directions and the supplies, they're all at homeandfamilytv.com, as well as my website and blog. It, it only takes a day, so this is a fun project. Special Look kind of sand you need for this, or what? Highly yeah. recommend using a non-toxic, kid-safe sand. Oh. As well as clean dirt. Don't just use whatever's in the yard, because you know they're going to be getting in there. Now, where does one go to get their doggy skipper's license to sail one of these things? <laughs> he is enjoying, she is yeah. enjoying, enjoying this but so well. how do we make sure that she doesn't go to the bathroom the sand. So That's what we've point. done, yeah. this is actually a really good point. You need to train your dog to use it. So we've taken some of her favorite toys. She's got Pet Project seashells and she's got some bones. They're all American bones by Jones Natural Chews. And we even put little slices of hot dogs. So we made sure that that sandbox is chock full of some of her favorite things. And dogs don't like to go to the bathroom where they eat. So you want to... Neither kind of, do I. Neither do you. I. No. You want to hide things and then make it a fun <laughs> game and interact with your dog. Don't just let them do it by themselves. I'm going to get in there and dig with her as soon as we're Oh, finished. she found one. Oh my gosh. That's Put so a cool. dollar amount on this for me. Yeah. How much? Dollar okay. amount, you can do this for less than 200 bucks with the accessories. It might be a little bit more, but this is an affordable thing that you can do in a day with the help of some friends. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a fun project that's well worth investing into your pup. $200 oh. for the boat, the dog. Priceless. The priceless. dog is priceless. priceless. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, we also have uh, some fun accessories on the back. Is there's a cooling bed, and we've got a water bottle. So you can fun. make this as elaborate or yeah. as simple as you want. It's all up to you. And she's having a ball in there. Yeah. So great. Thank you, Laura Nativo. This was good great. to have you okay. here. All right. Uh, as we said, all the instructions uh, Laura just gave you on uh, Home and Family TV and her website, lauranativo.com. All right. Up next, Kim's cool summer tip. Don't go away. Is that a squeaky fish? Yeah.